very good morning students hope you all are preparing for your examinations in today's lecture i am going to cover the important topics of non conventional sources of energy under jntuh for r18 and r16 regulation as this is a theory subject where you have even 20% to 10 to 20% of problematic also in the coming units i mean the fourth and fifth unit i'll let you know so before that we we'll look at the uh, questions i mean the important topics where it is a covid pattern where eight questions will be asked from the five units of which you are supposed to answer any five questions let's look at the topic wise as well as from which unit you are going to get how many questions i am going to let in this video the first and foremost thing is the classification of the energy sources and the later the difference between non conventional energy resources as well as conventional energy resources is one of the very very important question dear students we can expect this question for this semester as well as extra terrestrial as well as and terrestrial solar radiation is also one of the most expected question for this academic year question paper whereas this will ask many times in various previous year question papers i have taken into consideration environmental impact of solar power as well as the solar radiation tilted surfaces as well as the instruments for measuring the solar radiation as well as solar radiation data from these part you can expect one question dear students that is 1a or either b sometimes that may be 1a b c also why because the first unit covers lot of data related to the energy resources and you can expect even the general questions too from the unit 1 whereas the second question we can expect from the classification of concentrate concentrating collectors whereas the flat plate as well as concentrating collectors is one of the very very important and gun shot question which you can expect for this academic year question paper whereas coming to the flat plate they may be asking you the what are the different losses affecting the efficiency of the flat plate may be one of the question later i have taken into consideration orientation and thermal analysis of the concentrating collectors of which these three topics we can expect the second question that may be ab split or abc they may be asking for 555 mark definitions also this is all about the unit 1 dear students please concentrate it is all about the theory in the later the second unit is all about the principle of solar photovoltaic energy conversion a very very important question we can expect even this question also for the exam as well as solar energy storage its methods applications heating and cooling techniques as well as solar distillation and drying these are the questions i mean the important concepts where you will be getting the third question a b split for 8 and 7 mark from these topics later it is all about the windmills the classification as well as the working is also one of the important question which may be asked for the 7 mark and the advantages limitations of horizontal axis windmill is being asked several number of times in the previous year question papers as well as the methods used to overcome the fluctuating power generation these all are the general questions may be asked dear students why because it is all about the non conventional sources of energy pro maximum power coefficient is 0.593 it may be also one of the question and related to it a problem as well as bits criteria of which these concepts you may be getting any one question that may be the fourth question i mean from the first unit you'll be getting two questions and the second unit also you'll be getting two questions and the breadth criteria is also one of the important i have taken into consideration only few concepts where student can work out for the exam and as it is a theory subject and you can score better in the final year dear students and do not skip my video i am going to give you the important tips in between how to score better marks in the theory subject and the four to subjects you can score better percentage too and the third unit is very short i am expecting only one question this time from the unit 3 that is all about the biogas types and the digesters and the principles of biogas and later this is one of the very important and gun shot question 
uh, differences between anaerobic as well as aerobic digestion and its advantages and the combustion characteristics as well as IC engine operation and economic aspects may be also one of the B in the 5A as well as B a split of 10 5 combination or 8 7 combination dear students make sure to work out the third unit as it is very small later we look at the fourth unit it is all about the geothermal energy its resources as well as the different applications and vapor dominated geothermal energy system is also one of the most expected question and this is asked several times the methods of harnessing the energy and potential in india may be the seven mark question coming to 6a as well as b i am expecting two questions in the from the unit 4 why because unit 4 is bit lengthy and you can expect two questions from this later the seventh question is all about the scope of utilizing ocean wave energy to generate electricity the one of the common and application oriented question and the principle of tidal and wave energy and their applications and the comparison and the limitations of both later you can expect the expression for power and energy from the waves is also one of the very important question after the tidal uh, i mean the tidal energy later closed cycle otec ocean thermal energy conversion versus the open cycle ocean thermal energy conversion is one of the much awaiting question for this semester and its advantages and disadvantages to be asked for, for the uh, many times and we can expect even this question this times I have taken one more min hydel power plants and this economics and related to uh, the the expression for power and energy certain problems will be also asked we can expect even a b combination from the unit 4 also dear students and we can expect two questions this time from the unit 4 uh, later we look at the fifth unit and the fifth unit is all about the DEC direct energy conversion its needs and the principle and the coordinate cycle working as well as the uh, its principle is very very important we can expect that or Seebeck Peltier as well as John Thompson effect is also one of the very important question dear students make sure to draw all the diagrams only in pencil MHD generators and its principles accelerators as well as the MHD accelerators and MHD engine is also one of the question which we can expect in this semester dear students Hall effect as well as magnetic flux whereas I can say that the fifth unit is too lengthy and we can expect one question only from the fifth unit but which part of the question they may be selecting it's wet bit confusion why because it is too lengthy in its structure later fuel cell principle and Faraday's law is asked many number of times a students preparing the fifth unit need to be concentrated and to work out all these questions and i'm going to let you know the plans and which unit you are supposed to work out to score better mark the selection of fuels and the operating conditions too as well as dissociation and ionization is the differences are asked several number of times dear students hope you are listening to the each and every point now i am going to let you all know the three plans for this i mean to score better mark uh, students who feeling difficulty and they are a bit uh, looking for just pass can go with unit one and unit two hundred percent sure whichever the topics i have covered here you are supposed to work out all these topics so that you could able to attempt the four or three questions later the plan b is for the students to score bit uh, the better percentage i can give you the option of one two as well as three dear students you should be perfect with these three topics so that if five questions come if something is missing from the topics which you did not work out you can answer at least this and student who is score, planning to score a better percentage can go with one two three and fourth unit why because you are going to work out two and a half unit and the fourth unit for the second mid examination so you are not supposed to skip any topic and you are supposed to work out each and everything from the subject of you i hope you got the questions which i am explaining 
uh, throughout the five units the important concepts make sure the subject is all about the theory and you are supposed to write in the uh, uh, I mean the bulletin points and do not write in paragraphs and draw all the diagrams wherever uh, related diagrams with respect to the question asked to be drawn only in pencil and make sure to highlight the important points in pencil for how to write the theory paper I have uploaded a video in this channel please go through it and score better mark dear students hoping to see you all with a better percentage in the final year as this is one of the scoring subject make sure to work out accordingly please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this video to your friends where it may help the students who are taking this subject thank you